We began in 1984, second floor of City Hall. At that time, a group of citizens in the community decided that there was a need for an arts council. At that time, we were mainly concerned with all the arts in Clinton County. We were there in 2012 when the opportunity arrived that we were able to move into the Station Gallery. The Mayor of Lock Haven proposed that the Arts Council take over an old train station that was moved from Mill Hall to Lock Haven. We renovated it and got in retired school teachers to do most of the work. And in 2012, we became the Station Gallery. And we were able to, at that time, bring in artists from all over the country to this location. And that is where we are today. The Clayton County Arts Council is a partnership that really works. One of the things that's helping us grow as an organization is this, this really great group of people that have come on as members and then and got, got on the board. We have a multimedia station now, and we have actually at the moment three students from the high school. We're developing our first ever podcast, which will become a YouTube feed. We are looking forward to maintaining and sustaining ourselves here as a first-rate or globally connected gallery. The Station Gallery is more than a gallery. It's more than a place to display and sell art. It's a space where juried art shows shine a light on talented local artists. We bring in invitational artists that will provide a variety of things for people to enjoy. And offer something that maybe people in our neighborhood have not seen or maybe uh, just haven't thought of uh, viewing. This is our fourth year to have a high school show from Keystone Central School District our third year for middle school and our second year for elementary. We provide the students the opportunity to show their work and to validate their work. And we really enjoy working with the students to see the joy on their faces and to know that they have a place where they can show their work to the community. We also have different judges who come in to work with us to provide the students with feedback and to help the students understand the importance of the arts. As a student at Lock Haven University, being involved with the Station Gallery has opened up so many opportunities for me. Where I get to be involved in designing promotional media, involved in show planning, and also designing the Station Gallery's website. The connections I've made at the Station Gallery have been amazing. Everyone here is so passionate about the arts and makes it a lot of fun to work with them. We have been more thrilled and honored when we found out that the Station Gallery had won the PA Wild's Great Places Award in 2012. Just the name, Great Places, has a warm and friendly sound to it and is something we strive to project here at the Station Gallery. Both the City of Lock Haven and the surrounding communities have embraced the Station Gallery as a center for the arts. We have created an atmosphere of art enrichment through a variety of exhibits at the CCAC. It was honored by the Clinton County Economic Partnership by being selected for the Carl Bergdahl Tourism Award last fall. We embrace the fact that many of our CCAC members are not artists, photographers, musicians, or writers. They simply support the organization because they see the value in having an active arts center in the community. We once had an 80-year-old woman come in that we thought would, oh, love the historical exhibit. And she came in and she said, you know what I like best about this place? I can come in here and look at something and I never know what to expect, but I love it all.